Okay, let's get into eyeshadow. So, grab your favorite eyeshadow palette, okay? I love the Take Me Back to Brazil by BH Cosmetics, the Rio edition, because it's so metallic-y and so, like, full of fun, bright colors, okay? Um, but we're gonna do a lot of different eyeshadow looks throughout this class, okay? Those are gonna come later. I'm just gonna do a basic for you. Um, all those colors are fun and everything, but if you're wanting to do like a bold lip and have that be the star of your show, then I would definitely tone down the eyeshadow and vice versa. If you have bold, bold eyeshadow looks, I would definitely tone it down with a nude lip or a mauve lip or something like that, just to kind of pair things together and keep your face in balance. But girl, there are no makeup rules. You can do what you want to do. That's just how I do. Um, this is your face to paint, okay? So um, I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna do a really fun look with blue eyeliner because blue is my favorite thing right now. And then I'm just gonna do um, some bronzer on my eyelids, okay? And then I'm gonna do a super fun lip. So what I want to show you is you don't always have to have eyeliner on top of your lids. Sometimes if you just have like a toned down look and you just want to do false lashes or anything like that, then you can do like a super simple look on your eyes. And I'm just going to use this bronzer from the 3-in-1 face palette and show you guys what I'm talking about. So I'm just going to put some color on my lids. And we're gonna get into talking about tools and brushes and things, but this is just an e.l.f. brush from Walmart, okay? So I'm just gonna hold it all the way back here and lightly tap it to my eyelid. So like I talked about with face makeup and everything, if you lightly apply stuff, then you can totally build it up and that's especially the rules with eyeshadow. You don't want to overdo it so that you can't blend it correctly, okay? And this is another thing that you're just going to have to learn. You're just going to have to practice. You're just going to have to do all the things that it takes to practice makeup, okay? I'm not perfect at it. I don't claim to be. But I've made a lot of mistakes, you guys. I've made a lot of mistakes even live on live videos. So we're just learning together. So what you wanted to do is take like a fluffy brush and you can use one of these. Looks like it's a little bit packed or one of the fluffier ones that kind of like are free flowing and apply that eyeshadow. And I don't go all the way up to my eyebrow either because you want to leave space because your face only has so much space and you want people to be drawn in and not pulled up, okay? So just leave some space in between your eyeshadow and your eyebrow, okay? Because then you can go back and put highlight in there. So that'd be super awesome, right? All right, so I'm just gonna take a bigger, fluffier brush to blend it. I used one brush to place it and then one bl blush brush <laughs> to blend it. And this is just a fluffy blending brush. You can get them from Morphe, um, all the places. Some of the Walmart brushes are super good. So whatever you have, use that, okay? So I really like this one. I'm gonna go back in and this is just bronzer. Like I'm saying, it's not even an eyeshadow. Um, just any pigment that you may have there it comes in palettes and pigments and all the things like whatever you can get a hold of that has color go ahead and use that a lot of people are doing the whole trend of using bronzer with their eyeshadow for their eyeshadow and most of these things are like universal you can do them for blush use eyeshadow for blush or use certain eyeshadows for highlight like it's so fun to play in makeup all right, using another brush, brush to blend it. I don't know why I can't say that word, blend it. And then it's really gonna pop with this blue eyeliner. Okay, and eyeliner comes in different forms. It comes in the form of a liner like this, the twist, top, the twist tops, and also liquid. So liquid, you just have to play with it. You can get better with wings and things like that. And we're going to go over that as well. There's also gel eyeliner. We're going to do all the things. These are just basic, basic things for getting started. Super excited. I'm going to be adding more to this class as we go on. Here is a blue, a very fun blue. Oops, something was on my nose. I'm just going to put it on my waterline and then kind of smudge it down here a little bit. Just to get like really fun with it. 
like notice me. I have blue eyeliner on. <laughs> and my eyes watering a little bit because I don't usually do this. I don't usually use a waterline eyeliner. But you want to get one that's very smooth and it goes on very smooth. Okay. So if you have one that is not like even when you sharpen it, it's still like catching your eye and dragging it and there's no color coming off. Guys, spend a little bit more money for your for your makeup. <laughs> get one that comes off smooth. Okay. So here's another cool trick. If you have small eyes and you want to open them and make them look bigger, use white eyeliner on the bottoms here, okay? It's gonna make your eyes look bigger, okay? If you have really large eyes, okay? Really large eyes and you wanna make them look smaller, use black eyeliner, okay? It makes things look smaller, okay? Whenever you're talking about weight loss and wearing black and all the things, how it makes you have the illusion that you're smaller, the same thing with your makeup. So if you have really small eyes, I don't have like super small eyes, but I have some small eyes. If I wear black eyeliner on the bottom here, it's gonna close my eye in, so it's gonna be even smaller, okay? So whichever look you're going for, that's what you need to do, okay? Dark eyeliner for bigger eyes, white eyeliner for smaller eyes. It's gonna open you up and make you look alive, awake, alert, alert enthusiastic, all right? I really like this look. All right, here we go. What else, what else, what else? Um, we'll get into lashes in a minute. Um, let's do lips. 